Okay, Phil here from PT Precision Automotive. Um, it's a car that I bought. Again, I like buying things and, and fixing them, just for experiences. But um, this is a, a Volkswagen Golf 2016 All Track. So it's the all wheel drive with the Haldex unit in the rear differential coupling. So this one actually has a noisy rear diff. It's the carrier bearing. It's on the passenger side. That's that's the problem. Was it the passenger side or driver side? Driver side. Driver side, it was. Driver side. Um, carrier bearing. These are a sealed unit. You can only buy them as a complete unit from VW. I haven't found anybody who's got any bearings for these or anything. I can buy a second hand one. It's still a couple of thousand bucks for a second hand one. It's seven grand for, um, for a new one but I think it doesn't come with the Haldex unit. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna pull it out. It's gotta be replaced regardless. It's, you can still drive it, but I'm not gonna let it go like that. They'll sell it. Um, so we'll pull it all off. We'll disconnect the trailing arms, the leveling suspension, um, brake calipers and everything off, and they'll, let, they'll sit there and then we'll drop the whole we'll exhaust off. We'll drop the whole cradle out, and then you have to detach the the differential from the cradle because the um, the cradle's holding it up and the bolts are in from the top. Right? So once I get that disassembled, I'll, I'm going to strip the diff to see if I can rebuild it. Yeah. So I'll um, I'll pull the Haldex unit off and I'll take some video of that of, of how I do it um, and see if I can rebuild this. It's only bearings. Yeah. Fuck. It's the only thing that's failed. It's it just noisy. It's a beautiful car. Yeah. But it's just very noisy on, on this carrier bearing. I do them all once I'm in there, so it's all in case. So I'm thinking you pull this casing off and and that whole section will come out, the whole differential. The Haldex unit, I'm not worried about that, it'll just come off the front. That's, that's just got a clutch pack and, and stuff like that on it. So I've never done one before, so and I don't know anyone who has done one or pulled one apart. If we fuck it, we fuck it. I've got to get another one regardless. So there's no harm in trying. And it's got to come out anyway to, to be done. So if this was a customer's thing, I would be trying to help the customer as well to see if I can do something to help them save some costing in it and, and be assured that it's going to be okay. But anyway, we'll see what happens. All right, so the, the guys have got the, the diff out of the cradle. They've put the cradle back in the car. It's kind of over there, sitting out on the ground. Um, got the module, the Haldex unit module off, pop the two shafts out. Um, I won't be doing it, I've got, like I've had both carpal tunnel surgeries. So I'm going to spin this thing around. So, what we're going to do, you can't buy any parts, bits and pieces for it, no bearings really. So the thing's fucked as far as we're concerned anyway, like it's, it's got um, the driver's side carrier bearing has had it. So I'm just going to pull it apart anyway. We'll leave the um, the Houndex unit on him. We might have to pull it out. But we'll, no one's got any videos on these of how they strip down. I'm going to strip it down. If I can rebuild it, I will rebuild it. But we'll just pull. I mean, you can pull this apart. So we're just going to rattle gun all the outer outer casing bolts off. It only splits apart in two. That carrier on this the Houndex unit. We'll pull it out and have a look. See what's going on. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Right. Well, what's in there? What's in there? I don't know, but I'm recording. Oh, okay. Oh, so, just pull. Emma, just pull the, the case off. Tony, pull this out. Pull this out. Huh? See if that comes out. Oh! <laughs> if she blows, that's it. Piece of piss, man. We're just going to replace these bearings, and where we go, fucking slip it back together. Hey, right? that's the one that was noisy. Look at it. A little bit groggy. Yeah, look at that bearing. Ah, oh, that's the one. This other one wasn't bad. Look at that. That one's okay. Let's replace the bearing. I don't know if we should do the pinion bearing as well. Oh, fucking piece of piss. Easy. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> Lock this back together. Beautiful. Thank you. The, I've dismantled the whole differential, yeah? So we got the pinion out. The pinion comb was, was hard in there. I ended up, I was trying to grind it out, couldn't get to it, but ended up using a bit of oxy on it in a couple of spots. You can see it's been running. 
It wasn't too bad. It was much probably the best bearing out of the whole three of them. But <clears throat> got it out. I got some new bearings. I couldn't get a new seal. It's a bit of a special seal, but I, I have taken quite care taking all the seals out of the differential. So this seals between the differential and the Haldex unit. It's basically two seals stuck face to face. So it, it's still all right. I, I took a lot of care getting it out. So I'm going to reuse that. Put new bearings on the pinion, <coughs> new bearings on the on the carrier, and put it back together. The Haldex unit. Um, I'm going to pull the, the little motor off, and have, there's a filter in there. I'm going to have a look at that. I've got new oil filters. We'll clean this all down, and we'll just reassemble it. So we we'll just. It's a bit of a job, yeah. It's tricky getting the the pinion bearing out and this and all the bearings out the front because there's another bearing race that runs in the front here for the where the Haldex unit goes in and the seal goes in there as well and a, and, a, and a cup and everything. So I've got all new bearings for that. So anyway, I'm just gonna start reassembling it today. I can't do freaking much, but <coughs> anyway, here we go. Oh. So I've got all new bearings on everything. So I've got new bearing on the pinion gear, two, two new bearings on, on the um, carrier bearings. And for the, uh, I haven't, I actually haven't had the, um, what do you call it again? Haldex. The, the Haldex unit apart. Yes. Um, so I'm ready to assemble all this in. It's all looking good. So it's pretty, it's pretty complicated. Bearings are a bit odd sizes and stuff. So, but we've got it all together. It's all ready to go. Yeah. Okay. Right. I've mucked around. I've had to muck around with this diff a bit. So to do the preload on the pinion shaft bearing, it was it was too tight. It's nice and free now. Like I've, my hands are stuffed, right? And I can spin that. It's beautiful. So that preload, I actually, there's a spacer in there to give the preload on. It's not a crash washer or anything. And I've actually had to behind the circlip. So I had 0.3 of a millimeter machined off the face of it to lessen the, the clamp pressure on the two bearings. So which has worked out perfectly like it's really it's really really nice so there's no pre i've done the backlash on here i've set the the carrier bearings up because i've had to clamp it together without the pinion make sure everything's right but it's all good but i've had to spend some time and i've had to have a few things machined to make sure it's right it should have normally been right i rechecked to make sure that the the cones are in properly and everything like that so they were I, end of it I had to machine it a little bit but it's looking good so we'll put the rest of it back together it's all ready to go just put a bit of oil on these bearings and was you already oiled these up no put a bit more oil on them I'll put them together yeah okay so we've just um, we've assembled the diff back together and we've just got the Haldex unit we just pulled it apart this is the little filter inside some of them do have like a little cartridge filter in them just depending on the U model that I have but I've cleaned all that out it was a bit dirty as to be expected, we'll just reassemble it, just wash this down, we'll reassemble it and clean the front of the nose back down and put it back together and voila, that'll be it. The only reason we were doing it obviously was the carrier bearings, yeah, so that was the only problem that we had in it. We've got the Haldex control unit, which is over on the bench as well, we're going to put on. That's it. Good. Okay, so test drive, I know I didn't test drive the noise before, but you could really clearly hear the noise. Noise is gone now. It used to be, you know, it's pretty bad. But anyway, it's wet weather today. You can't really distinguish all the noises, but the noise is now fixed. It was that um, carrier bearing, but I just saw we did the other bearings as well. But anyway, all good, really good.